okay, time to put a little bit more filler on the, this area. This dent here, this dent here, this area across here. The rest looks good. So, um, process is this, I sanded it down, so I need to get a rag and some mineral spirits. So here I've got my Good. So, get this up here. Spot one. Good spot. Mm, tricky little here with the, with the bump. It's just hardened. It's just hardened. So that's that. Okay, so let's take a look here. So, this spot here. Spot here. Now uh, that one is not perfect right there. Could probably this one there. I'm just gonna mix up a tiny bit more and uh, do the two things that I timed out on here. All right. Well, I got two pieces here. Here's the first one where I've fi done some fixes here, and I've just got some primer on it right now. I'm trying not to overpaint it so I get no drips, which means to just dust it, which is why you can still see through it. But here it looks good for my first dusting. I also put a little bit of body filler in where those rust holes were and 
you know, it just masks it a little bit. And then I did my other fender. This is the back, the back right fender, and I've just got primer on it. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did on the other one, which was I'm gonna paint it black gloss on the underside and lotus white on the top. Deck lid I'm gonna do lotus white on both sides, and then the the you know the hood, the bonnet here I'm gonna also do because I'm gonna do the inside of the uh of, of the front here as Lotus White so that it contrasts with the um, fuel tank. So anyway, letting these dry before I do one more uh, one more uh, coat of primer and then I'm going to hit it with the Lotus White. All right, well I did my first coat of base Lotus White on this. This is the deck lid. So there was only, I mean, I think that the deck lid turned out great except that there's one spot that really annoys me right here. I just didn't see that I didn't sand that filler quite well enough. So there's just like a little spot there, but you know, the rest of it looks great. I just overlooked that. And now here's my back right fender. And this also looks really good. So the deck lid, I'm going Lotus white on the inside like this, um, but on the wheel well, I'm going black on the uh, inside because I'm probably going to have the insides of all the wheel wells basically be black and maybe even have the wheel well coating on it. So what I did is I made it basically black and uh, then I did Lotus White on the top. So I'll probably I'll come around this corner a little with the next coat of Lotus White. I'm going to put one more coat on this, I think, before I do clear coat. So, but, you know, overall, I think that these two pieces look great. And again, upstairs, I have the other back fender already painted. So I think the idea is that, you know, as I'm doing the chassis and as I'm doing the body work on the, on the car, I'm going to take uh, all of these component pieces and um, do them. And then I'll put them upstairs on the ping pong table and whisk them out of the way but have everything done here, including the T-handle and the license plate cover. And uh, so that'll be that. Um, so this, this uh, I'm pretty happy with this one, given the condition of this deck lid before I started. Um, I think it's gonna be totally usable. Um, I did some stuff to it where I, you know, I welded on some bolts on the reverse side because the threads were bad. Here and here I tested it and this is all like a little bit ugly, but um, you know what? It works. And uh, there's a little Bondo in there. So I think this is good. Okay, now finished and with clear coat. So this guy, you know, this base coat, which is automotive touch-up base coat um, and uh, clear coat, it just has a good um, sort of a subtle shine. It's not super glossy. Like when I look at what's on the bug right now, this is like some kind of like super glossy. Uh, I just don't like it. This has a much more subtle satin-like uh, finish to it, which just looks great. And I think that uh, also on this one, I just think it looks great. So uh, these two, I can uh, move upstairs as soon as they dry. Uh, I'll leave them overnight. Um, but <clears throat> the idea is that it basically will wind up being a twin of this, of this bus. Um, so I'll have, you know, the the bus, uh, which will look like this, and then it'll have a twin beetle. Um, and I have the um, this back license plate cover already done upstairs, and I have the grommet. The one I'm missing is the grommet right here, um, but that's um, on the way in the mail. Hopefully that'll show up late this week. Um, I covered this whole front end with a cardboard box while I was painting this time so the overspray wouldn't get too much on it but my next step is to um, 
remove these two, get them out of the way. Um, and then uh, I'm gonna put my wheels on. So for right now, I'm just gonna put the wheels back up on the, on the rusty back end and uh, put the wheels on the front end. I'll roll the whole chassis out and then I have to continue scraping this junk off of the um, off the chassis, and then I'm gonna sand down from from the front end back and uh, spray paint it.